Yo, what's poppin' guys? Today video I'll be telling you guys how to set up the node system for Jetactor. First thing first, you you of course need it. You can use whatever you can use like this server. To make it a domain. The admin pen of course takes a while. I hate when it happens. I hate when this takes a while. I have no clue why. Jet doctor, please fix this. Like for example, this is not this is for this okay, of course. Yes, this does have DDoS protection, so you can try DDoS, it won't work. You can go to like any website like this for this website. You can like do now and make it follow your main server IP. We are not done yet. I'm sorry to use. By the way, you will need see so you will need to go to your CMD. You also will need one SCP or any SFTP software it doesn't really primarily have to be that. But any anyways, it'll have to be a Ubuntu server, of course. I'm just going with like one gigabyte because why not? Whatever root password you want. It has to be a, it has to be on the good one because some reason even if it's on like bear it still won't work. I have no clue why. Plus, that's the most secure one, so it's very good. And it's on the good section. Then you just, you can put a bit pit. Yeah. You can hit launch LISH console to view your server creation or what your server is actually doing right now. So you know when it's done. If it just keeps loading, you, you have to press this again, then it should work. Sometimes it might take a few for the node to actually process. If nothing still happens, you'll just have to redo it. If, nothing, if it still has nothing, I don't know, because sometimes it does this. Glitch doesn't really do anything. I think it's because it's like booting right now, so this won't work. Usually, you like put logs out right here. Yeah, see, there you go. Do not do anything. Just, just look there. This is the only way you can actually see what your server is doing, as long as it does this. It has to say, it has to say running though. It's not actually online, but it's like running the installation. Installate? Yeah, installation. I'm just going to YouTube because I've actually replied to someone comment which is right here because I've actually put the script. You will need this script. It'll be in the comment, of course. Wait till it says local host login. You can now close this. I'm pasting this right there. For Terminus, you can just open that and you already know how to put that. I'm just going to use the normal CMD. You put C or CMD. Okay. Ask me if you like, if you know this and you trust this host. Or IP, whatever. Type in the new password. They, there's all this. Oh yeah. I'm going to make this user IP, of course. I'm just gonna call it no to. I'm just gonna give it some random stuff. Make sure it has these two ports allowed. The no, they allow every single port, so I don't have to worry about that. If it's an IP like what I'm doing, which is going to be this IP, you'll have to use HTTP, but you have to first create. Right.
Okay, so it has to use that, because I can't make it use the IP separately. Don't know why, but it should allow you to. Me, it won't let me, so I have to use this. So you go to DNS for Cloud Player. Then you can put whatever you want. I'm just gonna put no two. Yeah, okay, now I can change it back. Now I can change it. You take this IP that you have on a private, or if you have a private one, that you can use that. I don't think you can use IPv6. I don't think IPv6 will actually work, so yeah. I mean, you could try it. I don't think it'll work. I'll actually try it in a sec. I guess, I don't know. But once you're done with this, now here's the scripts part. You do not want to have script, you want to just take the bash. Or the bash. Room. Okay, there. For wings, you want to press number one, which is for the node. Okay, this may take a while depending on what specs you have. I did pick one of the crappiest ones, so this is going to take a bit. But sometimes it just randomly does this, I have no clue why. Plus, you can put whatever you want, or you could just pick, press enter, I believe. I'm not even going to put anything, so yeah. This is for the database MySQL. Or SQL, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Put the password you want. Once node to location.tk. It could be an IP as well. It has, to, it has to be whatever's whatever's in this box. So, yeah. So, it can actually verify. It should say DNS verified. I'm just going to put my support email. If you guys do need, like, to contact me just use this email if if i don't reply to you on youtube i most likely won't reply to you on youtube sadly so sorry this takes a bit so yeah but in the meantime i'm, I'm gonna get when scp ready i'm a lot you just want to click on this copy the server will not be up neither will this now so yeah This is my Discord link. Will also be in the wait. Yeah, link will be in the description. I'll see if I can get the script into the description instead of the comment. Not in the description. Check comment. So yeah. Of course, this is my bot. Yeah. Anyways, it should be done now. You no. Know, now I want to do the uh suffocation. Suffoc suffocation. I probably miss. I probably mispronounced. I'm sorry. Which is basically this suffocate, suffocation, suffocation, which basically makes, let's say, connection is secure. Basically making that secure. Yeah, now it's done. Now you want to log in. Username could be whatever. It, you, it's usually root. Me, it's root. So, yeah. I'm going to come down to your ETC. Should create a paradactyl one. Okay, now you want to copy this. You could also do it this way, but this way usually don't work. So yeah, but I'm gonna show this method. Basically, you can copy this, paste it in here, then then run this command right there. So yeah, but if that does not work, then you could do config.pl. Copy whatever right there. System control restart. Wings. Or oh, not restart. Dot wings. Press this. Now it's all running. So if I do this, test. Now 
Please don't put venom, some venom stuff. No two. I can I can make a server on the no two. Okay. This is my venom. This is just venom. Which is going to be extremely slow still and got one gigabyte of RAM and one cord and all that. I'll even run this once I'll even run this just to let y'all know just so y'all know it actually does work. If you have a better server, it usually will not take this long. Like my primary node for this one, it won't take that long. For this one which has pretty much trash resources it takes a bit that see it's done start yeah it all works oops this works this works all this works this won't work because you have to have an email so yeah you actually have to get the mail section to work so yeah. which is this i can't get this to work so yeah. as you can see test it won't work Anyways, that is how you set up Pterodact, I mean not Pterodact, Gerodactyl node system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped, uh, if this helped you, please like this video and share this to your friends if they need help too. So, thank you guys so much for... Thank you guys so much for three, wait, 236. Thank you guys. That means a lot to me. Love you guys. Peace.